This is Digital Tools for Architects Photoshop 1.5. Uh, this is dodging and burning an image. And so, um, just like you've seen this image before on some of my previous tutorials, uh, on this time I actually want to work through and do some dodging and burning of an image. And the, the concept of dodging and burning um, goes back to the days of film photography um, where we can selectively lighten or darken a particular piece of the image. And so in Photoshop we can do something very similar. Now the problem with dodging and burning, uh, which there is in fact a dodge and a burn tool, is that it's difficult to recover from uh, doing a dodge or a burn uh, without doing a special thing in front. Um, and so for example, if I were to uh, burn something, uh, burn being to darken, so let's say I were to darken something, and so we'll darken it like this, and I'm going to do this several times um, so that we can see that I'm really, really darkening it. Okay. If I wanted to get rid of that, um, I would have to come back and use the dodge tool, which would make sense, to lighten it. The problem is that when I lighten it, I can never really get it back to what it was originally. And so if I keep going, you can see that it still always shows up as this, this, this spot in my, the real part of my image. And I can't really undo it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a step backward, um, which I can come up here to edit step backward, um, or I can go ahead and do my um, it's command option Z uh, on its control alt Z uh, on a Windows computer. I happen to be working on a Mac right now. So once I've done that, I've gotten back to where I don't have that adjustment anymore. And instead of doing the dodge and the burn directly on my background layer, I'm going to create a new layer. And this is a little different than creating an adjustment layer because this is actually a layer itself. And so I'll go up to layer, say new layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my mode here. And I'm going to set this to be overlay. And so this mode doesn't really make sense if you're, if you're trying to understand what la layer blending modes do. Uh, take a look at Photoshop 1.24, which I'll discuss blending modes in much greater detail. Um, but for right now, all you need to know is that it's set to overlay. Uh, and I'm going to fill with a neutral 50% gray color. Okay, That's important to check that box. And I will call this Dodge and Burn. And Burn. Perfect. And so I'll go ahead and say OK. And so unlike an adjustment layer uh, where I had that little properties window pop up, in this particular case, I don't have uh, anything pop up. I just have uh, a plain gray layer. Um, and if I were to turn off the background layer, you'll see that I just have like a gray screen here. Uh, and so we'll continue to go back, and you can kind of see what's happening uh, when I do that. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to darken up these clouds just a little bit. So let me click and hold on the Burn tool. and uh, I'm going to darken up these clouds. Now, unfortunately, my brush size is really, really small. And I, I want a much broader stroke for what I'm doing. Um, so I can come up here to the brushes, and I can adjust the size value to be up um, much bigger. Okay. Uh, the other thing is hardness uh, for what I'm trying to do. I want my brush to be very soft, uh, so it'll be at 0%. If it was hard, if it was at 100%, I'd see a nice sharp circle around my brush. And I want that brush to really fade in. Uh, as I control it, so setting it to zero is just right. The other alternative, if you don't come up to this little brushes window here, you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard to make the brush smaller or larger, uh, which is, tends to be what I do. It's a little bit quicker. Uh, so we'll make that brush nice and large, something like that. And now I'm going to use the burn tool, and I'm going to make sure that I'm on the dodge and burn layer, which I am. And so I'm going to slowly drag my mouse in here and start to darken up. I'm avoiding the hills a little bit, but I'm adding a little bit of mood to this particular uh, cloudy sky. And so I'm doing it very carefully and very slowly, just a little bit. Um, let me zoom out just a little bit, Control minus, uh, just so I, can, so I can work in this upper corner. Uh, I might need to decrease my brush size slightly, uh, and we'll continue to, to do that a little bit. Okay, And so that's darkened up these clouds just a bit. If I wanted to darken right there at the horizon, I can zoom in a little bit so I can see this a little bit better. I'm using Control Plus and Control Minus to do my zooming. Uh, and let me decrease the size of the, the brush here. And let me come in here, and we'll do it just a little bit more right there at the horizon. Uh, and so I can continue to work this. I can also work into certain pieces of the clouds, darkening them up uh, a bit as well. Now, if I were to quickly jump uh, and turn off my background layer and look at just I'm pressing Control Zero so we can see everything. Just that gray layer, you can see that I've added kind of a dark grayish color, right, right there, that that dark color, and that's what's darkening the actual image itself. 
Likewise, if I switched over to the dodge tool, which would be for lighting, uh, lightning, excuse me, uh, I can increase my size using the bracket key here. Uh, and I might come in and I might try to, to lighten up certain pieces of the image. And so I don't know that I would end up wanting this particular mountain to be a little bit lighter, but I could. Um, and so this is showing you what uh, this can do in contrast to the uh, dodge and burn, or excuse me, the burn tool. And so let me come in here and I'll lighten this up just a little bit um, so you can kind of see that I'm working through and adding a little bit of lightness to those particular mountains. Okay. Now if I were to turn off the background layer and see the, the uh, layer for the dodge and burn, you could see that where I've applied light is what's actually turning out to be lighter on my background image, right, right there. So this is selectively dodging and burning an image. It's Photoshop 1.5 Dodge and Burn from Digital Tools for Architecture.